Yo, who's out there knocking at my door? Oh, it's you. I thought you were Jehovah's Witness. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hi, guys. My name is Mario, but my street name is LJ. Welcome to my crib. Come on inside. Welcome, welcome. I truly do apologize for that. Um, so, yeah. Um, welcome to my crib. Um, I hope you enjoy this tour and you see what you think. Okay, let's start. Um, you see this? Here's my couch. Premium leather. Okay, we with the the cheap leather grain. None of that. It's also a bed, but you don't know that. Only people who come and sit here know that. Shout out to my boy George. Also, you know we have we have our bike here. You know, just to get just to get some little exercise. You know, on the weekends. Um, also, it, when you get in an argument with your jefita and like you just want to run away from home, you know, it's a good good bike to just go on the road and take off. But you're you're gonna have to be back by midnight because the police gonna stop you. Anywho, um, you know, have my weights. You know, guys say that curls are for the girls, but I'm loyal, so I only do one curl for one girl. Got some gas treatment. You never know when you need that, okay? Um, down here I have my Wii games, you know, because I'm an OG like that. You know, FIFA, anybody trying to come through? Nader National. The famous Super Smash Bros. Bra. I actually have a funny story about this. One day, one Ruka tried to come over, was trying to come. Long story short, we came home and I put on this on the Wii and started playing and she got so mad. She was like, I thought you wanted to smash. I was like, yeah, I am. And look at this, I am smashing, smashing on all these players. I don't get gross these days. We got Wii Sports Resort, you know, good for your arms, good exercise also. My level score on this is over. 9,000, so watch out. The OG Wii Sports, you know, tennis. This is how I learned how to box, how to bowl, how to golf, you know. Um, next, we have Star Wars The Force Unleashed. OG game. This is what should happen if there was an episode four, you know. Mar 46, I actually found this at the Pulga, laying down, so that's why it has no actual cover. But it still works. It's a great game, great from the classics, you know. Another OG Cars 2 is predecessor from Cars 1, you know. Cars 1 is, is my favorite game of all time, so this is just great. Yes, more cars, more action. Another OG Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, I remember getting this for my 11th birthday. And it was just the best time of my life, you know, no worries, back in the old days. But anywho, yeah, that's on my week collection. You know, we could put those, put those away now. Oh, here, I have my PS2 collection, because I'm OG like that. You know, Transformers, the game, I haven't passed all of it, because Megatron keeps beating me, but... In the name of Jesus, I could do all things with Christ, so wish me luck. Ultimate Ninja 2, Naruto, the ultimate OG, my ninja. Aragon's Quest, um, this is just a cover because the game doesn't actually work. Um, Dragon, Ball Z, Budokai 3, I know a lot of OGs of y'all played this, so. You know what's up, you know, more action, more flying, you know. I still haven't passed it off, but I'm getting there. Learning how to be a Super Saiyan 1. All right, now over here, we move on to our, my movie collection, actually. Yeah, I'll pick that up. OG, the ultimate OG team, Fantastic Four. No Avengers, no X-Men, no Justice League, the ultimate classic team is fantastic for move on spider-man 3 this is 
I know this movie wasn't that great, but it's actually one of my favorites. You know that part where, you know, Peter and Mary Jane could sort of break up. Because they're like, you, you're not there for me and everything. And then Peter starts getting sentimental and stuff. But that was actually a plan for him to reborn as Spider-Man. Anywho, uh, Shark Tale, another OG of mine. Um, it's from DreamWorks. It's not really Disney. But it's still good. It's still good. Good fish movie. It's like another ripoff from Nemo, but better. Um, the Lion King. This is actually a CD, so I don't know what this is doing here. But the Lion King is great. So Casper, another OG, another Hefe. Shrek the Third. Boy, do I tell you about this movie? But that's another story. Transformers Two. Oh, don't show this. This is beat up, so you can't actually see this. It doesn't work anyways. Um, Zeus and Roxanne. I don't know if anybody's watched this movie, but it's a, I'm sure all of, some of you have seen this scene where the dog falls in the ocean from the boat and then the dolphin goes and saves it. Yeah, it's from this movie, so just to keep you on form. And then here's Movie Buzz. This is just about movies that came out in 2005, you know, their reviews, their predictions. And yeah, and last but not least, Airbud, Toby. You know, who doesn't know that movie? I don't need to explain myself. Okay, yeah, we got that done. So this is my bed. This is where I lay down every night, you know. When I go out before I go to sleep, you know, give my praise, give thank the Lord Jesus for the day. And then just lay down. You know, this is my Samsung 16 by 16 TV, you know. I don't like to go over the line, but something cheap, something small, simple. And that's why I have this tattoo, because it represents the three S's I go by. Short, sweet, and simple. Look at this. Come on, who else do you see doing this? PS2. But wait, wait, but wait, there's more. We. And a PS1 with the matte TV sticker. Come on, who do you else do you see doing this? Classic games, Super Cross Circuit, WWF Attitude from the Attitude Era, the best. Oh, Lita right there, she's a little bit shy, oh, but oh. she doesn't really like to come out. Bye, Emma, te amo. Guys, over here. Cesar. This is. Ya, 15 minutos. <laughs> this is my printer. I actually found this at the garbage. You know, the junk jar. They always have gems. But I don't really know how to use it or program it, so I just have it there. Anywho, let's come on over here. This is the kitchen. You know, I, I have these seats. You know, like to spin around, round and around. You could actually get some workouts in these. Know, get your cardio pumping. We have some plates, six dollars. And if anybody wants to support our church, we sell these every 15 days. So it's pollo asado, frijoles, arroz, and sausage. So y con la coca, que no se So if y'all are interested, L M K. You know, it's my Bible, because you know, you always have to have your sword ready, the word of God to preach. Because you know, a lot of people judge me from my looks, because yeah, you see I have all these tattoos and everything, but they don't know who I am, they don't know where I came from, you know. Back then I was a broken man, and Jesus, you know, came into my life and he changed everything, you know. That's why I serve him and I praise him every day, because he did something in me and he saw something in me that more than anything else and anybody said anything oh, 
Yeah, like people don't know my story, but they still want to judge, you know, get, get into my shoes, but uh, you know, that that's actually something else, you know, if people always have to, something to say, you know, how they say F them, you know, because people are always going to have something to say. Um, yeah, the story of my tattoos actually, you know, I have love and I have hate right here. So with my left, I give love, and with my right, I give hate. You know, I have the arrow here, cause you know, remind myself that um, I'm always looking up, you know, cause I can't be let down anymore. And if I do let look down, it's because you messed up. So don't you worry. Um, yeah, as I told you, the S is for short, sweet, and simple. And some OGS elementary kids know that. Over here, I have 316. No, not Stone Cold, Steve Austin, 316, John, 316. Anybody knows that verse? It just means that God loves the world and He gave His only begotten Son for hope. Just how He gave me hope. And right here, this story, you know, the story of this tattoo is really interesting because. It's pretty inspiring because it's called Moses parting the waves. You know, you you go and you're on your problems and stuff, but and it seems to be like a dead end, but then you just pray to Jesus and boom, he opens that dead end and makes a way for you. And I'm no preacher. I just looked at up on that. So yeah, this is just Moses which represents you or me going through that dead end that Jesus made for us. Anyways, let's come over here. We have our fruits, our papas, our bananas, our apples, our limones, our orange, oh, mandarinas, my bad. Because you know, it's 2018, we're eating healthy now. We're getting stronger every day. You know, all right, let's, oh, before we go over there, you know, let's come over here. These are all the pills I have to take because I used to be a drug addict, but now I'm not, not a drug addict anymore because I am free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can say amen to that. Thank you. Um, that's my grandpa, my abuelo. Come get the camera over here. That's my abuelo. He's an OG. He's still alive. He lives in Castaños, Mexico. So. Shout out to Abuela. This is this is me and my restored life. This is my stepbrother. I love him to death. I don't live with him, but I try to see him often. And this is my step nephew. If they, that's even a thing, but yeah. Um, over here, that's my actually my first girlfriend from first grade. I know it may sound a little creepy, but. You know, I still remember her. We went to Peter Piper's on our first day. I asked her why she was so hairy. She said, I don't know. So, the rose is dead, but my spirit is alive, you know. All right, so come on. Okay, we have some dishes, so there's nothing too much, you know, like this. Who the hell's knocking? Hello? Hello, I am Jehovah Witness. I've been having these guys snuck since I was born. You're a Jehovah Witness? Well, I'm a Jesus Witness, vato. Puro Jesus. Get the hell out of my house. Get the hell out of my house. I swear these people are so rude and disrespectful. 2018, people are still the same. Anyways, let's come over here to my house. This part of my house, my bad. You know, I've got my jefita's bed, you know. That 14 by 14 Emerson TV plasma, you know, short, sweet, and simple, like always. She has her vanity right here. You just can't lean on this because the glass is actually broken. So we found this out of yard sale for like two dollars. So it was a steal, but yeah, it's broken. So don't, don't touch it. Um, you know, got all my supplies, my deodorant, my gels, you know. Because I, I do have hair, but you just didn't know that. Right. 
because you assumed that I was bald because I'm a cholo. But anywho, who else do you see doing this? Boom. Boom. Two closets just for myself. And I got my full locker right here, you know? That got those KD5 Hulks. Rare, because nobody uses those. I had those since I was eighth in eighth grade. Only true OGs remember that. My balling days. Got more more shoes over here. You know what? If you ever need shoes, let me know. Twist of Fate, the Hardy Boys, Team Extreme, the best, best tag teams. You know, here are my sports clothes, all my jerseys, you know. Manchester, you no, know, Juventus. Puro Santos Coahuila, you know, gotta represent my my country, my Mexican roots. Um, a Juventus jersey, another one, Real Madrid, you know, just all that good stuff. Y también, puro Edison. No hay más, puro Edison. Got my laundry there. And over here, I just have my, you know, my going out church clothes you no know, got all my my sweaters my dress shirts you know I, I'm just a Jesus child and I am very devoted all right now coming along here you have some this is where we do our business you know this is where I do my business you know pee pee caca you know some some stuff, no. but that's not really your business. Over here, we have the shower, you know, a three right there because you know I'm Mexican and I always have to embrace my roots. Got all my shampoos there, my, my foot scrub cream, and my foot scrubber. And yep, you know, got a mirror there. Say hi to, to MTV mirror, SA Crips. Got my Listerine because you don't want your breath to be smelly. Got my my rich rich toothpaste, you know. Get all those curly yellow stuff out of there. And yeah, that's about it. Got all my supplies, you know. Shaved razors, clear soap because we don't want to break out. We want to stay have our skin fresh and young. Because we don't want to look like we're 40 years old when we're 20. Okay. You know, we got a mirror here. You know, when you get that fresh fade, you know, you got to check back here. See how they line you up. You can check your edge up. You know, I haven't gotten a haircut in a while, but I know I, I'm, I'm going to have to. So I'm going to go later on. Alright, that's just other personal business, you know. Right here, I like to open up and, you know, just. Just stare at those walking through, you know. Just be like, hey, homeboy, what's up? And they, they, sometimes they say hi, sometimes they get creeped out and run away because of so my looks, you know. But yeah, that's them. Alright, now, now let's, let me show you my backyard, you know. Because I'm a baller, you know. I ball everywhere I go. Triple B, big baller brand. I actually help Lavar fund Triple B, but. You don't know that because he doesn't recognize this. Oh, no, we could ball out right now because no, I am a baller. Where's the. Oh, look at this. He's still here. You know what? I'll give you a challenge. Let's go one on one. If I win, you stop coming to my house, you stop coming to this neighborhood. And leave people alone. But if you win, I go to church. Do we have a deal? It's on. Great. Put that Bible. Because you're going to need more than Jesus to win this. Because I have the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit on my side. The 
Jehovah Witness power. We. I'm gonna turn his ankles into wine, just like Jesus turned water into wine. See how dunked, how hard I dunked? Look it, the tree broke. I'm just that good. I'm just that good. Ready to go home? Game pointer. He is broken ankle. Te me largas, te me largas ya ahora mismo. Ahorita mismo te me largas. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, bye bye. Puro Jesus. Puro Jesus. John 3.16. Puro Jesus. Yeah, I, you know, that guy actually was a nice guy. I just, we can't have that negative energy here. Uh, I'm kind of tired, but you know, yeah, this is my backyard, you know. This is the life, the SA life, you know. You gotta be happy with what you got and keep working hard for what you want, you know. Uh, yeah. This, that's the reason I have this tattoo, this three tattoo, is because I make three pointers all the time. Just watch. Look, it's, but you know, you know, it's just my arms hurt a little bit for too much curls, you know, from earlier. Yeah, but let, 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 let me go, let me go to my bar real quick. Alright guys, so in life, I've learned that you have to take risk. Because if you don't take risk, you're never going to make it to the top. Because yeah, to make it to the top, you're going to have to start from the bottom and sacrifice a lot of things. So if you want to risk it all for family goals, career goals, rucas, whatever it is, always take your shot because you might never know if you might just make it. I'm just that good. Alright guys, thank y'all for checking out the video. If y'all enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, comment on any ideas that we should do next. Huge shout out to my boy Ellison for recording this video, taking the time. A uh, huge shout out for my friend, my neighbor Alexis, and see y'all soon.